Hallelujah. I tell you what, first of all, Mayor, before you come up, I want to be encircled by ministers of transformation. I know we call things rehab, but we call it transformation here because we believe it begins and ends with God. And I believe there's a process. Don't get me wrong. We believe in all. We, we know there's 12 steps of Jesus. We know there's all kinds of discipleship that should be. It better be. But you've got to be a believer first, then the discipleship. And all those that are ministers of transformation that are here this morning, I just want you in circle here. That includes the people from Hope Tower, from Lifehouse, Rocky. Come on up. Uh, those of you, if you don't mind, encircle this place right here and stand right here. Those of you that are ministers of transformation. Jared Pugh, you're here. Come on up here too. Uh, Jared Pugh, by the way, is the uh, leader of the Dream Life Service for Eddie James. He's with Eddie James Ministry. I've been with Eddie James. Eddie James is moving here soon, and it's going to be an amazing thing. We're glad Shane, they're the owner of that building, original owner of the building downtown that he's given over to a nonprofit. Uh, that's going to be amazing. Andrew, of course, has been with us for years. And Jared, part of the uh, management of that. And, of course, Rocky with the uh, wonderful ministry. That, hey. God bless you. Thank you. Wonderful. Praise God. All right. Mayor Steve Williams, everyone, would you welcome him? <laughs> Evan Jenkins. Oh, Evan, come on up here. Evan, by the way, is the president of Lily's Place, right? Or there's other. Head of Lily's Place, too. It helps the little babies that are addicted. Evan Jenkins, everyone. Here's the mayor. Good morning. Amazing! What an, an absolutely amazing day. Um, I had an opportunity earlier this morning to already be at another church service. Um, what's fascinating, I'm not sure if uh, in if you're you have heard of this. There's such a thing called a lectionary that some churches will use that will set the scriptures to be read in the services throughout the year, and it goes through a three year a three year process. I was sitting with my wife, and this was the gospel that was read this morning. From the Gospel of Matthew, verse 18. Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything that you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For wherever two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. There I am with them. There I am with them. That was set, that pattern was set years ago and came forward just today. Perry Stone, Pastor Perry Stone, what, a year ago has said and happened to be here this day. The Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, verse 7 says, Seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile and pray to the Lord on its behalf, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. With these words, may we bow together. Our most precious Heavenly Father, we praise you for how you have prepared us and led us to this day you are the most high the ruler of all we humbly present ourselves before you lord father we come to you as one body as your children pleading for your guidance we father we're hurting forgive us for our prideful nature it's difficult for us to come even to sitting even to be with you. It's difficult for us to come to acknowledge how much we hurt. And we've been trying so, so very hard to overcome our own difficulties all on our own with our own understanding. Father, please forgive us for our short-sightedness. We're scared. We have a sense of hopelessness. Please allow us to come to you, Father, and confess to confess our weakness. Father, a wave of addiction has enveloped itself inside, has enveloped itself into our lives, our homes, our neighborhoods, our schools, our workplaces, our communities, our states, and our nation, Father. We know that those who are afflicted with, with, with addiction are overcome with a disease. 
Father, those among us who are fighting addiction are sitting right beside us in our families, in our houses of worship, in our neighborhoods. We know that our family members, our friends who are fighting addiction are not bad people, but Father, the drugs that come into their bodies cause them to perform bad acts. Father, none of us are perfect, but each of us, all of us, whether we are fighting addiction to substances or struggling against other addictions in our lives like gluttony, greed, lust, clearly none of us are perfect. However, Father, we, we confess that while none of us are perfect, we are perfectly broken. Father, we're lost. Father, please, this moment, place your healing hand upon all who are fighting addiction. Please let your enormous power intercede on the intoxicating effects and the drowning results of these substances. Father, enable those who are fighting addiction to have the strength to turn to you, to turn their back to those who seek to take advantage of their weakness. And please substitute in the lives of our sisters and brothers who are struggling against this addiction. Please substitute in place of those who are seeking to prey upon their weakness. Place strong, willful individuals who can present a clear a fresh new way. Father, replace these destructive substances with fruits of your spirit to bring love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Father, we're trying to use everything that you give us, place under our control to fight this war. Father, we must win this war. It's preventing us from being able to be what you expect us to be. We know we're falling short and you're giving us so, so many blessings. But these blessings are constantly being tarnished because of this scourge that's in our midst. Father, you have called and prepared those from among us to offer protection to our families. These women and men who work in law enforcement place themselves between us and those who seek to destroy our community. While we run away from the chaos that's being created, they run toward the sound of danger. When gunfire is sounded, they pursue the sound rather than run away from it. Father, we implore maintain a shield of protection around all of our law enforcement officers. Father, do not allow one of them to be harmed or even worse, slain in the performance of their duties. Allow each of them to be able to return home safely following each day. Father, while we despise what those who are dealing drugs do to our children, our family, our friends, and our neighbors, while they detest how they are killing our families and our way of life, Father, we also pray for their safety and delivery. We've had enough, we've had enough death and destruction. Father, you created all of us. We know you placed in each of us talents and abilities to serve you and to be a positive force in your world. Father, we know you never, ever created someone to be a drug dealer. Father, we pray that you also reach into the lives of these people who have lost their way and disrupt their lives so that they can see you have a more perfect plan for them. Father, there are many among, of, among those who are dealing drugs who do so because they have such a low opinion of themselves that they believe they have no other skills to do anything else. Father, intercede into these people's lives and make it inconvenient to continue their life in this manner. And Father, please enable us to create economic opportunities so these individuals can come clean in their lives and be able to legitimately and substantially take care of their families. Father, we're not asking for wealth, but we have a poverty of spirit and we have a poverty of opportunity. Father, as we defeat this plague of drug abuse, 
We ask you to enable us as we rid our community of every drug dealer and heal each person from their addiction, that we have jobs available and opportunities for individuals to be able to identify your specific assignment for each individual. Please, Father, we ask that these jobs and opportunities be created here in our community. Too many of our families and community have had to leave to distant cities to be able to provide for their families. And Father, many have come to our community from cities and regions far from our home. Please let them discover in Huntington that they can find a productive and legitimate way to conduct their life. If they are here to stay, we please ask you that they stay only if they decide to be a legitimate and productive citizen of our community. If they choose not to turn their life around, Father, we boldly ask, send them to prison or send them home from where they came. Tomorrow would not be too soon. Father, we know that while we begin to defeat the addiction and lifestyle of crime in our community, many will begin to be processed through our judicial system. Father, we ask those who move through our judicial system that they are treated fairly, decisively, and constructively so when they are released from prison, they are able to be returned to their communities and neighborhoods as productive citizens. Father, we stand today before you with hundreds of thousands and possibly even millions of your children asking for your healing hand over our community. Father, please prepare us as we begin to experience the transforming effects of your grace. Prepare us to be able to change the direction of our community, to change the direction of our state, to change the direction of our nation, and give us the knowledge that through your power, you will enable us to begin to change the world. Father, we accept your agreement and claim your victory. Father, we know that your guidance, that through your guidance, the world is being changed now because what you are doing right here in Huntington, West Virginia. We thank you for the blessing of your confidence in our community. We pray this in your strong and powerful name. Amen and amen.